Hey y'all, so the ranges are back open, so I figured it was a good time to do another short barrel 44 velocity test um, featuring my Smith & Wesson Model 69 2 and 3 quarter inch barrel. Uh, the first time I did a 44 mag and I got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of people uh, asked to see some 44 special. So what I had floating around was some Hordenay Custom 44 Special 180 grain XTP, right? On the box it's labeled at a thousand feet per second at the muzzle and they rate that with a seven and a half inch barrel which gives you about 400 foot pounds of energy. So with that being said, let's go to the range and see what numbers I get. 8.22 And we're back from the range and here are my numbers. Now not everything is on camera because the strange screw of the gun kept backing itself out so I had to retighten that. I guess I had to lock tight that or something. Uh, that was happening and then the chronograph was giving me errors because it was too close at one point because it was pouring down rain and I was trying to keep it from getting wet. So I kind of had to edit together some footage. But here's the numbers I got. Uh, rough average I got was 830. I don't, I, don't do, I don't usually sit and do the math to get the exact average only because, uh, you know, depending upon temperature, depending upon humidity, all that, uh, elevation, you could, that, that number could easily change batch to batch, bullet to bullet and I just pull a rough average out. So rough average was about 830 and giving us about 275 foot-pounds of energy. So not a terrible energy loss. Again, this is a two and three quarter inch barrel. Their test barrel was a seven and a half inch barrel. So not terrible energy loss. Um, the one thing I should say is according to the Hornaday website, the expansion threshold for their 180 grain XTP bullet is about 750 according to online. So you are kind of getting close. Again, the slowest shot I recorded, you're, you know, not too far off of the expansion threshold. So I'd be curious, especially going through heavy clothing and stuff, if you would uh, achieve expansion. But um, I guess as a 44 special round, not terrible. But again, everybody knows my thoughts on 44 special. So Maybe, and uh, I know some people are fond of the Bulldog, so maybe that would be a good cartridge to consider in the Bulldog. But honestly, the energy levels there for the size, for the size of the bullet and the size of the gun required to carry that bullet, um, not super impressive, but uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not appallingly bad, I guess. So that's what I got out of it. Um, feel free to put down below what you want to see get tested. I do hope to, now that the ranges are back open, be able to do some more of these tests and uh, evaluate some more stuff. And um, I guess the one thing I'm hoping for is I lo a lot of companies seem to be using that real long seven and a half inch or longer barrel to get their velocity numbers, which uh, kind of surprised me for a 44 special because I don't really consider 44 special the kind of cartridge you want to put in an eight inch barrel but you know i guess some people do um so i'm hopeful to start maybe seeing some companies that use more realistic barrels to see if we can get closer to what's on the box but that's the, the numbers i got so again feel free to put down below what you want to see get tested um, i do have a couple other cartridges floating around that i want to do some testing with and i will continue and as long as the ranges stay open i hope to do that so uh have a good day